Historically, one of the ways that fishermen and fisheries managers have approached how to create a sustainable fisheries is something called the maximum sustainable yield. And here they take a single species of organisms. It's harvested um, to a degree that is somewhat, um, to a degree that allows us to keep fishing at that rate. And the problem with a maximum sustainable yield, which is really how many fish will a, an environment provide for, so how many fish can we take for a given set of environmental conditions? One of the problems with fishing at the maximum sustainable yield is because you really don't know what that is. In good years, you'll have lots of fish. In poor years, you won't have very many fish. And until you really understand the relationship between fish abundance in the environment, a maximum sustainable yield is just a number. And unfortunately, that number is oftentimes based on the maximum number of fish that we saw one year. We go out the next year and take that many fish, and we find we're overfishing. We're fishing beyond the maximum sustainable yield. It turns out that the maximum sustainable yield then is really just not sustainable. Um, it always leads to overfishing of stocks, simply because we don't know enough and perhaps also because we're a little bit greedy with the kinds of fish that we take. And key here is that natural variations in climate, uh, alterations of food webs as a result of fishing, make single species management extremely difficult and the maximum sustainable yield as a fisheries management tool, though it's still in practice, is gaining less favor um, as we move on into the next decades than other practices. Here's what the maximum sustainable yield looks like. So as fish stocks are going up, and in this case they might be um, un underfished or fishing just moves into a particular area, um, fishing efforts begin to increase and so this curve starts to slow down and there's some maximum rate at which the fish are rec being recruited to a fishing ground there's some maximum rate at which we can take those fish and and this is about it this is what's called the maximum sustainable yield so this is the level at which we have zero growth in the population so the population of fishes isn't getting any larger but hopefully it's not getting any smaller either and that is a, that's what we want for a maximum sustainable yield some fisheries take we can fish them out as quickly as they're reproducing so if the fish are reproducing and being recruited into an environment at the same rate at which we're removing them then there'll be the same amount of fish there year after year after year but that doesn't usually happen usually what happens is we overfish and then they decline we put restrictions in place and then the biomass returns and so this is an idealized kind of diagram for how we would manage a single species based on the concept of a maximum a sustainable yield so we take more than they can sustain their populations begin to go down we need to worry about that um, and we put restrictions on and then the biomass returns the problem, of course, is that putting restrictions on fishing is a very difficult thing because once so many fishermen get to fishing, once so many families own boats, once there's such a great fishing effort, it's hard to tell people, no, you can't take your boat out and fish anymore. And this has really been one of the conflicts that's led to problems with the maximum sustainable yield as a fisheries management practice.